Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 10. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking part in the Clubman Kart Cup 100. Uh, so we've got three laps around the Autumn Ring, five laps around Kart Space, and five laps around the Gran Turismo Arena. Uh, we're going to be swapping over to... Do I not have... Did I not buy the car? Oh, I didn't buy a car. Okay, so we need the Racing Kart 100 for this one. Uh, let's jump to the dealership. Look for Gran Turismo. Okay, so we can either have... I think it's 100 special. Yeah, because these have different colours. These are nice. Here we go. Purchase that one. Nice and red. And look at that. Go-kart time. Delivering your new car. Yes, I would like to use this now. I thought we had already bought one, but apparently not. Did I buy something else instead? No? I don't know. Uh, right, let's go then. Clubman Kart 100. Let's start. Right, let's do this. I think we're in much more powerful carts this time. Um... I'm going to go in this camera view as well. There we go. Nice. First corner was very good there. We are able to go a little bit quicker than the junior carts, but not much. So I'm hoping... Um, because I think there's different classes. I think there's a 125 class as well when we're in that shop. So I'm hoping those ones are like uh, the same speed as GT5's carts. Oh, bit of contact there. That definitely would throw most people off there. Easily. Right, 52 seconds for that lap. Onto lap number two. Let's go. Whoa, drifted. I do love drifting. Gran Turismo, you can actually drift in and control vehicles when they drift. Um, I find a lot of other games, like Forza, just aren't very controllable. Um, whoa. That wasn't a drift, though. That was just loss of control. There we go, 45 seconds for that lap. That is a very good corner there. Awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Keep it under control. Keep it under control. Nice. And coming across the finish line. Nice. 44.391 seconds for that one. Awesome. Right, let's exit and go to the next track. What is the next track is the question. We're getting very close to hitting 200,000 credits as well in the game. So I think by the end of this episode, we should have 200,000. That would be really cool to see. Um, right. Next up is Cart Space. Let's go. Right, let's do this. Cart Space time. Let's go. Brum, brum. Beep, beep. Get the fuck out of my way. Yeah. <laughs> Just... Casual contact there. Oh, this is a different section. Okay, there's a 
what looks like a hairpin turn here. Very nice. Uh, and then I'm guessing it... Ooh! Flight. Uh, takes the exact same route as before. Yeah. It's just that added hairpin turn onto the circuit now. Jesus! Why is this doing this? Why does it not switch back to normal drive straight away? What the fuck? Who would polyphony design that? That you can't go into reverse without pressing triangle, but then you can't go into drive without shifting the gear like normal. Does not make sense, but okay. Here we go, come on, come on. This is gonna be fun to act more fun than before to actually try and overtake all these go-karts now. Because we were in um, sixth position, so we had a head start anyways, so this is gonna be actual fun now. Maybe not though, because we uh probably won't win, so. I will have to redo this race. Like, five seconds behind, we're not catching that up. Not without some form of miracle. Perfect. We are catching up though, we are catching up, which I'm actually surprised about. Okay, yeah, that was very sketchy through there. You can see the tiny little wheels just in the corner moving around. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Brand new Lamborghini fucking car. Car with a pistol. Whoa! Jesus. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Speed is key. Not that key. Right, shift. Forward. Drive. We've messed up. Right, we've lost one position. That's fine, we can redo it. Ah! Spun out on the final corner. Right at the end. Ah, if these controllers weren't expensive, they'd be yeeted across the room right now. Ah, unbelievable. I can't believe I did that. 6,800 credits, two stars. I'll take it. I'll take it for today. Right, let's go on to the next race. What is the next race? I think it's the GT Arena. The GT Arena is quite fun, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Right, let's go. Gran Turismo Arena. This... This track is an absolute nightmare occasionally. I'm hoping these carts can handle it very well. If not, I may have to cry. Because if I lose another race like we just did. Whoa! Nearly lost it. I can't can't afford to lose like that again. Right, here we go. Onto the main straight. Coming across the finish line for the first lap there. Very nice. Come on, 
Come on, come on, come on. Get past. Very good. Very good, very nice. Oh. Nearly lost it again. Perfect. On to lap numero tres. Lap number three. Faster lap time then as well. Whoa! That was very close there. Too close for comfort, actually. We are in first, though, so we don't need to push. Come on, come on, come on. Why is it the most F1 drivers seem to start out with go-kart racing? Woo! That was pretty sick. And here we go, across the line. That was a very good race for the go-kart series. Very good. I think next up is the naturally aspirated series as well. Uh, which is going to be really fun. Uh, because we get to drive something else for a change. Because all my other cars are turbocharged. Except I think the Honda NSX that we got. Um, which obviously we can turn it into a turbo vehicle. But we're not going to. That's the license unlocked. But obviously we're not uh, doing that just yet. Here we go. Let's go to the garage. Car list. Let's just double check the NSX is naturally aspirated. Yes, it is. Right. Let's change to that then. It's an Acura, not a Honda. So, I mean, Acura is um, the American version. Uh, let's go to tune in. Uh, I don't actually know. Uh, what is the boundaries for the naturally aspirated? 500 or less. So we're at about 426. So we can easily put in like a maximum engine upgrade. Uh, so we can put in that one. 453, 461, 443. I feel like this one, 453... That's a decent amount and not too expensive. And then we can put in each one of these as well. Um, and then do we put racing exhaust in? Four eighty, four eight six, three seven five, three nine three. We'll go for that one for now. Um, and then what we're going to do, we're going to jump into body. We're going to make sure we have a stage one weight reduction. Um, I also feel like a carbon bonnet would be nice. Yeah, why not? Fit on a carbon bonnet. And then tyres. I think our best was sports softs that we could take. Uh, I feel like sports mediums, because that's durability and um, grip mixed together. Right, National A, Naturally Aspirated Championship. Silverstone for our first race. Let's enter. This one's... I don't like the song when you load into the... Um, National A. It's not that great. Okay, so what are we going up against? We're going against Z8. Uh, three diff 
four, five different NSXs in this. Uh, we got a Corvette, an M3, and an RGT. I don't know what that is, but we will find out. Right, we are now in our Acura NSX with the carbon hood. That looks very nice. Here we go. This is very nice. I like this car a lot. It is a classic. It is Japanese. It is a Honda NSX. Acura is just the American brand. So it doesn't count. It is still Japanese. It may say American. It's not. Awesome. Right, we've overtaken another NSX. Come on, come on, get around the corner. Oh shit, we're off the track. Uh, I feel like uh, this camera angle is gonna assist us a little bit better today. Obviously this camera angle is like the easiest to drive on. We got a very fast car up in first place there. So trying to catch up with that is going to be a nightmare. Past the Corvette. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is obviously going to be quite a long race, quite a long episode again. I want to try and not slide out. I've obviously got, I bumped the traction control up from one to two. Wow. I brought it down from five to two, but it, I normally put it on one. Um, and this time I put it on two, because obviously we've got like 480 horsepower in this thing now, or some crazy amount. I'm not actually 100% sure. No, that's our performance points. I think our actual horsepower is like um, 380, something like that. Which 380 horsepower is still crazy amounts. There we go, nice. Our engine, uh, our tires are looking very good. Perfect. Nice, 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 nice. GG. Good corner. Perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Right, we have that one car in front of us now, and we have an entire lap to overtake him. Awesome. 
Silverstone is doing us proud. I do love Silverstone. It is one of my favourite tracks um, out of any racing. Out of any races, racing game, anything. It's just entertaining to watch. And is that an RUF? What on earth is that car? It is an RUF or a Porsche, but I think it's an RUF because they're a little bit narrower. They have sort of a more chunky look to them. Nice. Perfect. Nice, 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 nice. Coming up to the final bit of the track, and final bit of the race. Come on. Awesome. Nice. First place. That was decent. And look at that carbon hood. Oh my gosh. That looks awesome. I didn't even realize the NSX had pop-up headlights. Kind of makes sense now. But I didn't realize beforehand. But there we go. That is that done. Let's now move on to the second race of the Naturally Aspirated Sports Series. Let's see. What is our second race? So this is going to be around Sakuba. I No, not Sakuba. Suzuka. Two completely different tracks. Um, but this is the full length of Suzuka. So this is going to be another seven or eight minute race. This is going to be a... Slightly longer than Silverstone, actually, because it's got more corners to it. We're going against a Series 1 Supercharged Mustang Boss, uh, three NSXs this time, a Lotus Evora, and a Nissan Fair Lady Z. Awesome. Let's do this. Right, let's do this. Another one of my top five favorite tracks. I don't even think I have a top five at this point. I think it's just like, oh yeah, I have good tracks that I love, tracks that are decent, and tracks that I hate. I can definitely tell you now the Ascari track is under the list of tracks I hate. I drove that once because um, I was messing around in this game. Hated it. Absolutely hated it. It was terrible. Zuka, on the other hand, love it. There we go, nice. Not nice. 
Haha. <laughs> we recovered though with a little bit of a drift though. Which might be called showing off, but I call it rubbing it in. Or a good recovery, you could call it that. That was uh, instant karma, though. That was terrible. Jesus. Right, let's see if we can regain those positions then. Here we go, come on, come on. Why is the NSX slowing down so quick? Awesome, right. We're now back to where we was before. We have a long way to go. Oh, that was close. Awesome. There we go. No, why are you shifting down? No, no, no. Come on. Perfect. Come on, squeeze through here. Right, we have two more cars ahead of us. Six point three seconds behind we are. Very good corner there. Right, let's hope we don't mess up this uh, sweeping corner here. I don't actually know what this corner is called. Right, Mustang, come on, let's get past you. Come on, come on, come on, squeeze past. Come on! Ooh, that was close. What is that car? I can't see it in the uh, sunlight. We'll have a look when we get closer. Let's get closer. Come on, come on, come on. I don't even know what that is. Ah, it's some form of Shelby, I think. I'm pretty sure it's some form of Shelby. Oh, we shifted down there again. Let's go, come on. Oh, bit of slide there. And understeer. 
That was understeer at 30 miles an hour in an NSX. How is that possible? Are our front tyres overheating? No, they're not. I still haven't worked out how to turn on damage and tire wear yet. That's where we uh, slid off earlier on the first lap. Nice. Perfect. Coming on to the final corner now. Nice. Look at that. First place, 7 minutes and 24 seconds. Right, we are now moving on to the final track. Uh, what is that going to be then? I can't actually remember. We got three stars for that though, which is very good. Right, let's exit and go to the next one. Brands Hatch, that was it. This is going to be fun. I like Brands Hatch. Brands Hatch is a very fun track. Um, obviously, the hairpin after the first corner is a very challenging corner um, and then going into sort of the square section is very difficult to get around some of those corners um, so we've got a GTO we got a Corvette, we got a DB7 and a Corvette Z06 to go against might have our work cut out for this one right we are here, Brands Hatch let's do this I want to see, I don't actually know how long it will take to do a lap around this track. Oh. That first corner is always a challenge um, when you're going at full speed, but then this hairpin. Here we go on the exit, shifting up. Very nice. Right, shifting down into second gear for this corner here. Poet now didn't know it. This is obviously the uh, GP circuit that they do the touring car races at. Which is going to be very fun to... Um, I think there are touring cars in this. Like, uh, race versions of uh, normal cars, so it would be really fun to see like a touring car championship. Um, but obviously, this track there's also they do like um, Audi R8 LM cars and stuff like that, um, Corvettes, those kind of cars. That's a Porsche Boxster or an RUF Boxster, whatever you want to call it. Come on. Let's get past the Corvette. I think that is the DB7 up ahead as well. Awesome. Now, what are you doing? What are you doing? Aston, fuck's sake. Tries to pit me. Here we go. Nice. 
Right, let's see if we can get around these corners cleanly. This section is a very difficult part of the track because you don't realise how tight these corners can be. And you don't know how dangerous they can be either. Until you slip and die. Right. The other two cars are miles ahead, so... Trying to catch up will be a challenge. But it's a challenge I'm willing to accept. Perfect. I think that's the fastest we've ever come at this corner yet. Come on, come on, come on. This is going to be the closest race yet, easily. This is obviously a much shorter race as well. Right. Taking advantage of late braking through that section there. Four seconds behind. We need to regain four seconds on this car. But hopefully we can regain that on this straight here. And the uh, second to last straight. Awesome. What is this car though? Oh. Squeezing up on the inside there. Look at that. Up in first position now. Perfect. Coming up to the finish line. Come on. Nice. Time to show off. Let's have a look, see what we got. So we were 1.8 seconds ahead, and that is a HSC 04. I don't know what that is. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.